Here, archaeologists sift through the muddy layers of time Is that what Jim had? to find out more about the risks these early people took to survive. You know when people talk about archaeology? Yes. <laughs> At the back of a cave, digging mud is, <laughs> is... This is the hard stuff. One thing that has been found in a number of caves on the northwest coast is uh, spear points in association with bare bones. Yeah. And these date as far back as 13,000 years. Mm. Is, so is this one of these spear points? This is a fragment of a spear point that was found in a cave not too far from here. Yeah. We have uncovered a bone in the wall of this unit, and it's uh, 20 centimeters below the surface. And uh, so I'm gonna pull it and we'll see if it moves. All right. And we don't know what species it is or what bit of bone it is. Uh, there's not enough here yeah. to know for sure, yeah. but it is a pretty big mammal oh, for certain. That. Oh, it's not ending. <laughs> Just make sure it slides out. Uh, it's a rib, isn't it? That's Looks it. like a rib. Yeah. Yeah. So that could be a bear rib. It's probably most likely what it is because it's quite robust. How amazing. What age do you think it is? Well, we have some other samples from above where this bone yeah. is, and they're coming back uh, around 14,000 years okay, old. Okay, so it's old. So it could be the same age or older. Yeah. You know, one of the most wonderful things about archaeology is that sometimes you uncover something that hasn't seen the light of day in thousands of years, and in this case, well, maybe 14,000 years. Well, we're interested in where bears were hunted in the past. And in the winter, when there's, there's not as many resources around and people are feeling a bit hungry, knowing where there is a bear den is quite a valuable thing because you can come up there and dispatch the bear. You'll have a load of meat, fur, as well as bones. One theory of how they hunted bears would have meant getting perilously close. Essentially, a hunter would go with a, a party to a cave, smoke the bear out of the cave, and entice that bear to attack a single hunter. And that hunter would be armed with a bracing spear. And a bear would come uh, to take the hunter up in a bear hug, which is a common thing that they do. Yeah. And the idea is a bear would take that hunter and essentially give him a good crushing. The hunter at the same time would brace the spear on the ground and aim it at the bear's heart. And so essentially the bear would take uh... the hunter and the spear into the bear hug, thereby spearing itself through the heart. 